On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring updates to Intuit Enterprise Suite with a look at enhancements to consolidated reporting. Hey, Pro Advisors, it's Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know, where you get exclusive access to demos of Intuit product enhancements by the leaders who built them. Let's jump right in with Christine for a look at consolidated reporting in Intuit Enterprise Suite. Christine, welcome. Hi, Jacqueline. Thanks so much for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here to preview and show some of the new updates that we made to IES back in March. Awesome. All right. So I am currently in my IES account. Um, let's say that I'm a parent, I am admin in my organization. I'm called Keystone Construction. For this particular example, my organization has two entities. Um, previously, before any of the updates that we made, when you went into the multi-entity tab in the left side panel, you would see all of your multi-entity features here, either in a tab or one of these widgets down here. Um, but in March, we updated um, this page a little bit and we launched five new KPI widgets that you see on the screen here. So those are profit and loss income, expenses, accounts receivable, and accounts payable. As a default, all of these KPI widgets will show you an aggregate across all of your companies, but you can always use this filter at the top over here to adjust whichever company you want to select, whether it's just one company or a subset of those companies. So let's say I just wanted to see my data for my Keystone Construction parent entity. You can click it as such, and all of the widgets that you see here will update accordingly. Um, in addition, you have the ability to update the time selection for these three particular widgets that have that um, available at the top right-hand corner. So as an example, if I wanted to see my profit and loss data um, for not this year, but let's say for this particular quarter, you can always make that adjustment there and the data will reflect and update accordingly. I'm just going to move that back to this year for now. Um, we still have all the detailed updates in terms of the, the reports that we have. So as you can see here, we have the consolidated report section um, with the four um, financial result consolidated reports that we have today. Those are profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and trial balance. Um, but in addition to accessing those reports here, you can also see that we have a see a full report link in each of our five different widgets that will also launch a relevant consolidated financial report. Um, for the profit and loss, income and expenses widget, when you click on that particular link, it will take you into the consolidated profit and loss report. And for the accounts receivable and the accounts payable widgets, clicking on that link will currently take you to the consolidated balance sheet report. And in the future, once we're able to launch a consolidated accounts receivable and accounts payable aging report, those links will get updated to take you to, into those reports um, instead. Um, so as of right now, um, whenever you click on one of those links within the widget, we will be preserving any of the changes that you made as a part of the company filter or the time selector. So as an example, right now, I only have all of these widgets um, filtered to my Keystone Construction Entity for this year. So when I click on this see a full report link, my consolidated profit and loss report will show, but it will automatically pre-filter it to the companies that I had before. So just Keystone Construction in this case and it will also include the reporting period to be this year to show it as such. Um, as you can see, even the detailed um, consolidated profit and loss report as a default has changed a little bit. So previously, we would show you the entity by entity breakdown, um, but currently we do default it at a very high level aggregate view. So just to kind of illustrate this, I'm going to show all the companies. And as you can see, as a default, you just see your chart of accounts as well as your totals. But if you do want to see that entity by entity breakdown, you can click on this display button at the top right hand corner click on this drop down and select the company value. And that will show you all of your entities. So in this case, we have two, as well as your eliminations column, which will show you both your automatic and manual eliminations so that you can see this entity by entity breakdown. We made the shift because we wanted users to be able to ground themselves at the high level overview of what their aggregate data looks like before drilling down into each of the different details on an entity by entity basis. And just to show you this again as to what it looks like for some of the other reports, I'm just going to quickly pull up a consolidated balance sheet report as well. Again, as a default, um, we do show all companies and we show this at the highest level aggregating across all of your accounts and your totals. And by clicking on the display button and selecting the company drop down, you can see once again this breakdown on an entity by entity basis with your eliminations here. 
Uh, moving forward in the future, we'll have a few different standard consolidated reports that we're planning to launch. So the AR and AP aging report, we're also looking into an expenses by vendor report. And we're also planning on um, um, enabling the ability to drill down into each of these subtotals so that you can get a detailed transaction view of what all these numbers look up to. Um, we'll also have the ability to display and filter by multiple different attributes. So right now you're able to do that by company. In the future, you're going to be able to do that for any shared list that we have to create a little bit more customization and flexibility. And finally, the ability to save any of these views, especially because we understand that there's going to be a lot of filtering and displaying, and we want people to have access to those views as quickly as possible. All right, well, that was it. A quick overview of all the updates that we launched in March. Um, super excited to be on here and I can't wait to come back to show you all the other things that are coming into IES soon. Thanks so much for sharing, Christine, and for being on the show. And thank you for watching. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we have for now. For more product updates and demos, check out our In The Know Hub. We'll catch you next time.